Keep multiplying over there. Ah! Ah! Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another part of Let's Play The Sims 3 A to Z Baby Challenge. So if my voice sounds a little weird or crackly, that's because I just woke up. Because I was up pretty late last night. I have a whole story to tell you. But first, I'm going to explain what we're going to do in this part. So, right now, we're trying to get Uriel, Uriel and Tessa potty trained. Because it's the last skills that they need, I think, um, in order to age up. Yeah. So, if we can get them aged up, then they'll head to school Friday. Which, then we'll have to wait the weekend. But it's better than nothing. Right now, these guys are um, doing their homework or about to do their homework. And since you're done, I'm actually going to have you clean up your dishes real quick because the kitchen is kind of disgusting and then you can use the bathroom. But these guys are getting their fun up so that they can do well at school. And my ultimate goal would be to have these two get their, these two get their grades up to move out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do we have eight if we only... How do we have eight kids if we had eight kids in the last part and she moved out? I'm confused. Anyway, <laughs> I don't remember what happened. That was last week. Okay, um... But yeah, get these two to move out. Maybe get this one to age up, which he should have should already be. aged up, maybe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but either way, I'll age him up today. Um. So, yeah. He needs to do his homework, but really it doesn't matter to me if he gets it done, which I don't think he will, because I'm going to send them to school right now. Um. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard, work hard, and work hard. I love the glitch that this guy has where it looks like he's a child. Okay. They're all going. It, did he get potty trained? Potty train him one more time. Okay, so while she's doing this, I'm going to tell you guys a story. So, I was up really late last night. Here's why. When you get to college, and this is true, I think, for high school as well, but in college, it's really true. You can't do anything without having a computer, um, at least at my college, because I take, I mean, you would take notes by hand. I usually take notes by hand, but I also take notes on my laptop if I forget my books or something one day. So I take notes on my laptop. I watch the required videos and stuff on my laptop. I you know, do my essays on my laptop, you know, so it's, it's pretty, and you have to check your grades and your emails constantly, right? Constantly. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty necessary thing to have a laptop in college. There are computer, like, places on campus, but for the most part, I mean, the majority of things that I do I guess okay I guess you can go to school that way then um, the majority of things that I do at school and at home I do on my laptop because I also watch you know YouTube on my laptop and I why did you um, I watch YouTube on my laptop I you know respond to your guys's comments on my laptop I do a lot on my laptop, okay? So, I used to have a Lenovo IdeaPad, which if you're wondering what kind of a laptop to get, it's a really good one. Uh, it's definitely not like my favorite that I've ever had, but I really liked it and it did what it needed to do and it was a good, hearty laptop and it lasted me for about three and a half years, which I feel like is pretty good for a laptop that I use 24 seven, not even kidding. So, a couple, it's been for a while now, it's been acting kind of weird, like the Google Chrome sometimes on it would like turn black and like I would have to go, I would have to click on like the show desktop thing and leave the internet and then come back and it would have to like reset itself and reload. 
And then at that point, I would um, be able to, you know, just continue. And it was fine. I can handle that. Like, that was not a big deal to me. However, <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I started getting this notification that was like, hey, there's a new Windows update. So if you've been getting this notification, listen to this story before you do it. I've been getting this notification that was like, hey, there's a new Windows update. Your current Windows update is going to be, um, is going to be like invalid. Like your computer's not going to work because the old Windows is like not going to work anymore. And I was like, okay. So I decided, today's Friday, I decided Monday of this week to uh, just do it to just suck it up and do the update because I didn't want to have to be in the middle of like doing an assignment for school and have it be like surprise update because you know how sometimes it, you know how sometimes laptops be, be you know like that they, they'll just randomly start updating so I was like all right let's just do the update so Monday night I decide to do the update and I'm like Okay, here we go. We're going to do the update. Um, he's aging up. He's aging up. These guys are doing all right, I guess. Um, I decided to do the update. I <laughs> set it to go at like 9 p.m. I was in bed when I decided to do it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just watch YouTube on my phone for a while and I'll let it do its thing. The update took three hours to do i was gonna go to sleep at like 10 or 10 30 and i ended up having to stay up till midnight because this update this freaking update so i um i ended up just doing the update and it was fine so i put my laptop away as literally as soon as it was done do i need to do that no because you have an a cool literally as soon as it was done i was like okay I'm done. Okay, we're going to send those three out to do their birthdays. So we'll give them all some cakes. Um, I guess I could just do them here because they don't have school tomorrow anyway. Uh, so I put it away for the night and, you know, it's fine. So then the next day, this is Tuesday... I um, was on my laptop, just minding my own business. I think I was about to take a nap or something, and it crashes. Blue screen of death. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. That's never happened before, but maybe it was just, you know, from the update, residual, you know, issues. So I, I kind of ignored it, and it restarted, and I went about my business. Then Tuesday night, I was painting my nails at, like, 9 or 10 p.m., and lo and behold, in the middle of painting my nails, which is probably the most inconvenient time for this to happen, I end up, you know, the laptop crashes again. So I'm like, okay, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> so what ends up happening is um, w uh, Wednesday, I'm like, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and google things i can do to help and if it works it works i also have to age the twins up too uh if it works it works and if it doesn't work it doesn't work okay so i go in and i like i you know took out a bunch of like or i updated the drivers i went in and i checked for extra updates i hadn't finished i like did all of this stuff um, and I thought that it would be fixed, and it wasn't. So then... <laughs> so then, uh, Wednesday during the day, after I had gone through all these issues to fix it, I was like, okay, maybe that'll help. And guess what? It didn't. So <sighs> Thursday, I was like, okay, I'm going to use my laptop. Oh, I need to get my dice out. Hang on, I need my dice! Okay, he's an equestrian. Alright, my dice. My dice! Um, so after I try all those updates, 
Here we go. And rolling. Three. Professional author. All right. So nothing happens and it crashes again and I I'm thinking to myself okay the next logical step this is a long story by the way sorry the next logical step is a factory reset or like a system reset so it crashed and actually when it came up to the loading screen it had forced me to do a fact a system restore like a system reset and I was like, oh, um, well, that's okay. I'll just do it because uh, that was going to be my next step anyways was to do this, you know, the system restore. And so I let it do it. I told it to keep my files, though, because I didn't want to, like, you know, get rid of everything on there because I have school, important school stuff on there or whatever, which I guess in, the, in hindsight, it doesn't matter. Um, party animal rolling the dice again. We get one. All right, and then next is you. Uh, so it factory resets, and that takes a long time. And May just found out she was pregnant. It takes a long time. This is cute. Um, I actually was letting it reset itself while I was filming the house build yesterday. So it was resetting, factory resetting for 30 minutes while I was recording that house build. The 30 minutes it took me to record the audio for that. And the like 20 minutes it took me to rebuild it after the game crashed. And then tragedy struck. And now the laptop won't even turn on. And I need a laptop for school. So basically, to make a long story short, I bought a MacBook yesterday. <laughs> With my own money. Well, my mom and I split the cost. She paid for half of it because it's for school. So. But yeah, to make a long story short, I, I had to buy a MacBook yesterday. I'm going to pick it up later today at the Apple Store. So. Make of that what you will. Hey, Sebastian. I don't need the dice for you, but star quality. Sounds good. All right. May, don't you dare eat those. I need you to blow out candles for Tessa. Except it's going to be one of the freaking teenagers that does it. Because it always is. It's Oliver, I guess he's not a teenager anymore. But I like that she's just stopped taking responsibility. Oh, no, it is one of the teenagers. It's him. I love that she's just stopped taking responsibility for her kids. Love that for her. Well, now that my story took freaking 12 minutes. Jeez. Jeez. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is, warning, if your computer is telling you you need to do this new Windows update for November, don't do it. Do not do it. Because it literally destroyed my laptop. And now I have to buy a new one. Put those away. Yay! Birthday! Now it's time for Uriel to age up. Yay, birthday! Yay, birthday! Tessa is grumpy, loves the outdoors, and adventurous. Okay, Tessa, come and use the bathroom. Who's doing the birthday party? He is. You're gonna go to bed, and then immediately you're gonna have to wake up. Like, I'm sorry to break the news to you. Birthdays are just one of those, she wants to have another kid. Well, good thing you're pregnant. She wants to have a boy. Why? Why? Just legitimately tell me why you think having another boy is a good idea. He's going to pee himself as soon as he ages up. Like, we have had, let's let's count again. We've had, we are on, I don't even know how many kids we've had. We have two that aren't teenagers, so we're at 21 children. Right? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. We have five more babies to go. And out of these, only one, two, three, four, five, six of your kids are girls. We have twenty-one children. I'm just saying. Okay. You guys don't do anything. You Come and eat some leftover veggie rolls. You are the second. You are Rory QRS. So you're going to be first. 
and then you're going to take a shower and head to sleep. And then you also need to eat some food, eat some veggie rolls, and then you'll head to sleep. And then you are going to use the bathroom. And then what are you? Tea? Okay. And then you'll head to sleep. And then you're aging up. And I'll take care of you when you're done aging up. Yay, don't you guys know. Come out here. Both of you, get out here. No. And he is a virtuoso. Good and easily impressed. He's got pretty good traits. Not gonna lie. Are you in someone's bed? Okay. So it's time for y'all. I'm gonna take a quick save actually real quick after those five birthdays. You know how this game is? It will just die for any reason. And literally any reason. So I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm tired. Well, basically, so I was up and I ordered a new laptop yesterday. And so I was up until like 11 figuring that out. And then I woke up at 4 30 no it was 4 15 because there was a gigantor thunderstorm outside it was so loud that which like this happens every time there's a thunderstorm but it was so loud that my freaking house shook when there was lightning like there was this one lightning like if you've been in a thunderstorm you know what i'm talking about there was this one who is it it's oliver there was this one instance of lightning that literally I died. It was so loud. It said, kaboom! And I was like, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna wake up now because it it woke me up. Alright. You're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. You need to come and take a shower and go to sleep. And you are asleep. Okay, cool. Everybody's asleep. Everybody's doing their own thing, which means that I am going to actually uh, cut off here and I will come back in the morning. Okay, you guys, it is the morning and um, she is awake. I'm putting these away, these books. Okay. My goal for today is to try and have her watch as much kids TV and listen to as much kids music as possible. I thought I did enough in the last time, but I guess not because lo and behold, she only had twins, which I guess she could have twins, but I don't want her to have twins. I would like her to have triplets. So then we only have to have twins in the next pregnancy because this, this was going to potentially be our last pregnancy if she had had triplets, but she didn't turn on change to kids. Okay. Perfect. I have to make sure I didn't change that on accident. Okay. Perfect. Now, what are you doing? Um, she's taking a shower, and then she's gonna grab some food. What am I gonna have these guys do today? Well, it's spooky day. So maybe I'll just send them to the festival and let them do what they want. That usually seems to work out well in my favor. No, what are you doing? Go and take a shower. And then you can grab some waffles, and then you can do your homework. And then I have to send you out to catch a fish. Can you clean these up for me since you're not able to do anything? Okay. Um, and then you uh, take a shower and then grab some cereal. You also don't have any homework. Can you come and grab some cereal? Actually, yeah, grab some waffles. And she'll, she's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, if you're going to get breakfast, I'm going to have you serve some new waffles. And she'll be, I'll still be able to hear the music. So as long as she's in this room, it should be okay. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. I love that she's just naked. Okay. You can't. You can't. But you three, I'm going to send off to the festival. If there is a festival. Oh, no. Does this, does this the one, the one game I have that doesn't have a festival? 
Okay. Well, I have to figure out some place to send you. Um, I guess. It doesn't open. Okay. I guess you could stay at home for a little while, and then after that, you'll need to figure out your stuff. Okay. May is cooking some food. Oh, God, this oven is disgusting. Grab a plate of that. Okay. Can you do me a favor and clean this? Then you need to come and use the bathroom. What is he watching? Neeb, neeb. Okay, so after that, you're going to come and watch, and you're going to change it to back to kids' TV. Change to kids. Because, okay, now these guys, I'm just going to send them to play tag. Can you guys go and play tag? You guys are best friends. That's cute. I love that for you. Okay. Uh, come use the bathroom. Eat some waffles. You know, do what you gotta do. He wants to get a part-time job. No thanks. Okay. Actually, yeah, can you go and fix that? Thank you. And you, my friend, you're gonna come and use this one. And then, you need to go out and catch a fish. Go trick-or-treating. I guess I could send them trick-or-treating later. Okay, where's the nearest pond for fishing? I guess this fishing park. So go there. And May, how are you? You're watching away, hopefully multiplying your babies in there. You clean up that. She wants to skip school, no, no, no. Okay, you're gonna come in here and paint. You're off to the fishery. When you're done with that, you're gonna come in here and paint. They're playing tag. All right, let's make sure that he gets his fishing started. All right, he's at the fishing park. Let's go ahead and send him over here and have him fish. Wait, can I, par can I fish in the big one? Go and fish here. Oh, he loves the outdoors too, that's perfect. All right, we're gonna speed this up. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. I only need him to catch one fish, but I'll just do that so that he at least catches one. Okay. All right, you're painting, you're fishing, painting, playing tag, doing what you gotta do. Um, are you guys gonna go trick-or-treating? I don't remember what time I send them. I'll check around like 4.30ish. Alright. Is your belly multiplying babies in there? He caught a minnow. Does that count for the fish? Okay, go deliver the fish. Let's go deliver a fish. Oh, man. We're so close to the end of this challenge, bro. That's insane. Wait, how would that have been our last baby if we had had triplets? I think I was thinking we only needed 25. We need 26. So either way, we would have had to... So if we have triplets, we're at 21. If we have triplets, she'll be at 24, and then we'll need two more. So hopefully, if she has triplets we will get at least twins on the next pregnancy. Okay. You're painting. Okay, can you guys go trick-or-treating yet? Maybe it's 5 p.m. All right, you're gonna come home. 5 p.m. Change into costume. Wait, can I just like click on a house and say like go trick-or-treating? Trick or treat with Rory, Sebastian, and Tessa. So everybody stop what you're doing. Stop. Wait. 
Wait, why did he not go? You're gonna trick or treat if it's the last thing you. What? Okay, I guess we're not trick or treating then. Sorry, kids. The Sims is against you. Do whatever you want. I don't really care. Okay. You're home. Uh, sell this. There you go. I guess you can sit down. Watch TV if you want. With your mom. You are going to use the bathroom and take a shower. And we'll see what to do after that. You are also going to use the bathroom. Then you're gonna come and grab some veggie rolls. You're gonna come and grab some soup. You're gonna come and grab some soup. And then you're gonna come and grab some veggie rolls in a little. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Sounds good. Or you could just ignore me. Um, go have some soup. Oh, I didn't mean to exit that out. I hate when that happens. Sometimes that happens with like big wishes to like have a baby, and I'm like, well, that's just that's really unfortunate. Did you break the sink? Oh, it was cranked. Oh. All right. This is your bed. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Uh, oh. <laughs> Go to s oh, it's not your bed. This is your bed. Go to sleep and. Are you eating? Eat that. And then you can uh, go to bed. What is, what's wrong with you? Why don't you come and serve some hamburgers? Whoa, I'm not trying to say she's having triplets, but her belly is already bigger than normal. I am i don't know if that happens in The Sims 3, but let's all just hope. Hope and pray that she has triplets. And you know what? Just because the last couple parts have been short, I'm going to play through one more day in this part. So this is going to be a long one. This is going to be a long one, but I hope that that doesn't bother anyone. Okay, you can grab a plate of that, put that in the fridge, then head on off to bed, and I will see you all in the morning. So she's gonna give birth in this part. I hope that you guys left baby names. I'm pretty sure you did. All right, I'm gonna do a quick save, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Jesus, okay, sorry. <laughs> We're back, it's the morning. Everybody is gonna get ready for school. I just come back and she has steel candy from a baby wish. And I was like, um, all right. Uh, you, in fact, need to... I'm going to have you come in here and take a shower because I don't remember which shower I told him to take. And you're going to do that. And you're going to come and grab some waffles. And also take a shower in this one. And then who else? Okay, you. You're going to shower in here. And you're going to have some waffles. There we go. So everybody's doing what they need to, and then everybody's gonna come and watch some TV whenever they're done. If they're done by seven, which I highly doubt they will be. Oh, he's in the shower. I was like, it sounds like someone's playing with an imaginary friend or something, but I don't, I didn't tell them to do that. Oh my gosh, she's actually cleaning up after herself? That's a first. Wow. Look at them all go! Oh, except him. Oh, they're fighting over the chairs. That's pretty funny. Alright, the school bus will arrive at 8 a.m. Nice try, though, because we're sending you all right now. I'm going to check their grades in just a second. Work hard. Work hard. Okay. So these guys should get up to a B today. He should get up to a B today. And he, she should get up to a B today. So, 
There you go. Where are you going? You don't need to shower in there. You have your own shower in your bathroom. Go use your shower, use the toilet, and take a... Or eat some waffles, and then we're going to have you watch some TV for a little bit. I'm not sure what time today you're going to give birth. So I need to pull up baby names real fast. This is a longer part, but that's all right. I'm actually pretty happy about it. Um, all right. Let's see here. Go to my channel. Why am I terrible at this? Your channel. Okay, go to videos. Go down to the last A to Z. And pause and... All right, yeah, I got a lot of names. Thank you so much, Strictly Sims, Diana, and Megan for leaving baby names in the last part. I will be using them in this part. So, we are on U, T, U. So we have T, U, V, W, and X. V, W, and X, if, if she has triplets. I, like, forgot my alphabet. Like, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So, V, W, X. That's wild. Okay. So, I'll be looking over those names as soon as she goes into labor. But for right now, that needs to change to kid zone. And you need to be multiplying them babies in there. Oh. All right. Clean the bug cage. Yes. We will. We will definitely be doing that. Okay, let me see how everybody's doing. She's got a B, a B, C, C, C. All right, well, you know, it's going about as much as I expected it to. Oh, look. I love this hairstyle. This is a good hairstyle, and I think that she looks good with it. Speaking of which, I'm going to cut my hair in the spring, I've decided. I'm going to donate it again. I donated it once when I was about 14. And since then, it's longer than it was. So, I'm going to donate it again. Fix the boiler. Yes, we will definitely do that. So, you have a B now. But that could push you up to an A. Either way, we're probably going to have to wait until Monday for these guys to age up. But... It's okay. They all want to go to prom. I accept it. So after you do that, come home. Which one of you? It was you. Okay, after you clean the bug cage, you can come home. These guys are on their way home. Okay. Now is the waiting game. All right. Keep multiplying over there. Ah! Ah! We're actually going to give birth here today. Go in here. Can I put these toys away? Okay. Stay in there. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I meant to turn off this. She can't. Okay, well. Alright, when you get home, you're going to come and take a shower, clean out the bad food for me, and eat some hamburgers. When you get home... You are going to come watch some TV. All right. What are you doing? Oh. You are going to do your homework. You're going to do your homework. It's a girl. T-U, so baby V. Okay. For V names, I think I'm going to go with Strictly Sim's suggestion of Vanessa because I think that's very beautiful. She's genius and loves the cold. Please have more than one. Okay, a boy. So V. So next is W. And for this, I'm going to choose Megan's suggestion of Wyatt. He's also a genius and a virtuoso. Please have one more. 
at least have one more. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. X. Um, so since Diana and Megan both suggested Xander, well, also, I could go with Xander or Xavier. Because Diana and Strictly Sim suggested Xavier, and then Diana and Megan suggested Xander. I'm going to go with Xavier. Xavier. Virtuoso and Athletic. Well, they're all pretty similar babies, aren't they? What if she had four? I would cry. All right. Okay, I need to make sure that these guys are doing what they need to be doing. Uh, you're going to do your homework. You are going to do your homework. I know that you're kind of stressed, but it's fine. Um... You're gonna do your homework. You're doing your homework. You're gonna do your homework. And I'm gonna set up these triplets. So we have Vanessa. This is Wyatt. Please put him. Why don't you put them in at least order? And that is baby Xavier. She's reached the maximum number of memories. I really don't care. All right, um, can you put Xavier here real quick? And then pick up, hold this one. Aww. Xavier, right? I, t I chose Xavier, I don't remember. Okay, put Wyatt in here. Put Xavier in here. And then you're gonna snuggle, oh, not you. You're gonna snuggle, give bottle and play with to all of them. And I'm gonna actually age them up in the next part. All right, put Vanessa in the crib, because if I age them up... Oh, I guess I should age them up now. Birthdays, birthdays, everybody loves them. All right. Is everybody doing what they need to be doing? You're stressed, you're too stressed to finish your homework. Go watch some TV for a little bit. I guess it doesn't really matter that they finish it right now. All right, first we have baby Vanessa. Woo! Yay, Vanessa! Yay! Becoming an old lady. Woo! Okay, sell this. And next is Wyatt. So I'm going to have her go over and give him a bottle. Go give Wyatt a bottle. And there she is. All right, can you do me a big favor? And can you put her in here? Thank you. All right, and then it's time for Wyatt to age up. So go do that. And you are gonna just chug away. Okay. Let's teach her to walk, we will. Yay, baby Wyatt! Yay! Alright, I can sell this. And last but not least, we are gonna go and feed Xavier. I'm gonna keep accidentally calling him Xander. So, whenever we get to Z, I'll do Xander. Because we'll have Xavier and Xander. Oh, all right. Can you do me a favor and put Wyatt in here? And now it's time for this baby to age up. No, don't read her to sleep. I don't give a crap that you're tired. No, put him in the playpen. Put him in the playpen! There's too much going on for you to be ignoring me. Yay! <laughs> All right, run to the bathroom. Literally run. Okay. All right. Um, what are you doing? Stop! Put him in the playpen. Put him in the playpen. Jesus. And then can you put Xavier in this? Okay. And May, you're going to come out and have some hamburger and go to sleep. 
You are going to eat that. And um, I had to bed. You are going to, you're, you're asleep. Why are you asking people to read you bedtime stories? Why don't you just go to bed? Like, it's really not that difficult. Have some veggie rolls, head to sleep. And once you're done with that, then you can head to sleep as well. But I need you to put him in the thingy first. I need you to put him in here first. Okay, Vanessa learned how to talk. I'm actually going to go ahead, I think, and end this part here, though. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I know a lot happened in this part, and it's kind of hard to keep up with. But if we have triplets our next pregnancy, that will be the last pregnancy because we are currently at 23 no what are we at we had we were at 21 now we're at 24 we have to have twins let me count let me make sure okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so we only need to have two more babies babies y and baby y and baby z and that'll be it that's the end of the challenge so in the next part we're gonna get her pregnant and then in the part after that i think that's the end so two more parts hopefully hopefully she has twins i'm gonna be ma i'm gonna be mad if she doesn't have twins but yeah in the next part we're gonna get her pregnant and we're gonna try and get these guys aged up and moved out so I will see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like if you make sure to leave a like if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see every single time I upload a video and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.